ね。to get a bit more traction there with more and more people. But, you know, uh, this year the 7 billion person was born on the planet and every night a billion people go to bed hungry and around 15 million kids die every year from starvation. Everyone's going to enjoy themselves today and seeing everyone that's going to school it's going to be quiet, to cosmetics, to soaps, to jewellery, and everything you see and you eat today is vegan. And what that means is that everything you eat and everything you see is entirely cruelty free. Our next speaker today is Mr. Duncan Kerr, who's speaking from the Green Party. And he will be speaking at 12 noon in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Just recording the day. <laughs> Are you on your own here? Are you on your own? Oh yes. Uh, I noticed you. It must be. I don't know. I don't know why. It's a single tub of beef. We should all know this one, shouldn't we? So, is it one ton, four tons, seven tons, or ten tons? Ten? Pull your hand from the back there. Ten. Exactly seven. Seven tons of grain are needed to produce one ton of beef. What's the beef tunnel from the farm to the fork? You're good at this. Well, I don't know how far on average is beef travel from the farm to the table? 100 miles, a bit more than that. One and a half thousand miles. A lot of travelling. Why are your carbon footprint is so high? about um, our localization and sustainability is the need to get back to some community uh, community growing and I, you probably, this could be any old field in actual fact it's the millennium wood behind King George V playing fields up in Little Over and the idea here is that we're going to have some community orchards we're going to have community allotments and we're going to have a community farm so that we can get people 
came for a little over if you don't know it. This was described as about 14,000 people there. There's about 3,000, 4,000 houses. Um, there's a quite a number of schools in the vicinity. And here we're going to build on and reskill young people. Now, I don't know where you all learned your gardening skills, but I bet it was probably from your parents, from your father, and your cooking skills from your, from your mother. And, but nowadays, not a lot of people are gardening, and not a lot of people are cooking. And therefore, a lot of the younger people, when you ask them where potatoes come from, and they're going to say Tesco or Sainsbury's, they have no idea that it comes out of the ground. But they have no idea that apples grow on trees, they just think they come in a plastic bag. And, and, but here we're going to take people over, obviously funding has been a bit of a problem, Yeah. 